everyone. Welcome to Goose and Mav's place. This is Goose. Mav is out having coffee. And we are going to go to my absolute favorite DA. It's Harry Potter. Uh, the address is on the bottom there. It's a little bit hard to see. I might try to make it black. One minute while I do that. Maybe bold it. It will not let me bold. But I will also put it in the... Oh wait, now I know what's wrong. No, okay. I'll put it in the description as well. It's not too bad, but here we go. So obviously I just started out here in my square. I'm gonna go up to Luna's bed. And you might wanna get comfortable. I did visit this one time before, but I was only there for about half an hour. I didn't get to see everything, but I do know some of the highlights that I would like to see again. And I'll try to condense this if people don't have time to watch the whole thing later. Now, if there's ever any dream addresses that you guys would like to see, just let me know in the comments and subscribe, click that bell so that you'll see when I'm on. I'd like to do a lot of dream addresses. I love visiting other people's islands, seeing what they have. I think I have revisited Dream because I've been there. Okay. This is the most amazing island I've ever seen. Now, I also found a really cool Disney one, but I'm not sure if I saved the dream address. So I might have to go back and try to find that because I really want to go to that one too. And I'll need to find a little outfit to wear. So you can already see her flag is amazing. Okay, so I do know there's some things over here that we definitely need. Now there's going to be a little bit more lag because we're using internet to go to a dream address. It does tend to run a bit slower. And I think this is... I don't want that hat. I already have rubber toe high tops. Because you know that Harry always wore rubber toe high tops. Or Converse. I already have my robe on. But I think somewhere here there's a ladder. Yes. We need the ladder. We don't need the socks. So, if you go over to, if you try to get to the airport, we'll just go up here. This is where I got lost before because I couldn't find these stairs. 
So this is platform nine and three quarters, but I'm going to come over here for a minute because somewhere along here, actually, no, that was Hogsmeade. Here's the train. And you can see there's Dementors up above. Dementors on the train. There's letters here. There's a Cornish Pixie. There's lots of owls all over the place. Here's platform nine and three quarters. Look at this. Look at the train coming out of the tunnel. The wanted posters on the floor. Wanted, the serious black wanted posters. You can go down here and another gift. But here we are at the Leaky Cauldron. Shamrock Soda. Sort of to look like butterbeer. And if you go in behind the Leaky Cauldron, she actually set up the brick wall that you can get through into Diagon Alley. And here's somebody's house. So I love how she just integrated people's houses into her design. You can see here Quidditch quality, Quidditch supplies, and there's a broom right here. Flourish and blots are down here. All the books. And I love how she lo used a lost item. And then she even integrated her nook's cranny into her design. She integrated her museum. Sterling. She tried to get characters that would all fit with the Harry Potter look. And just imagine the amount of time and patience that it would take to get this done. Uh, over here somewhere I believe there's a way to get to Nocturne Alley. You have all the here. Oh, and this is where you can actually pick out a wand. This isn't the one I like. There's two. There's one that actually looks like a Harry Potter wand. And I think it's this one. Tree branch wand. Look at that. It might be the other one. And you can see she has some wands. There we go. You can see she has some wands laid out. Able Sisters, there's Nocturne Alley down there. I mean, this is just amazing. Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes. There's even a whoopee cushion. There's a spot here where you can look through. Ilops Al Emporium. I mean, this is just amazing. And then here we are in Nocturne Alley. This is where I got lost here once too. I'll just turn around. Scabbers is down there. Okay. So then, what I did last time, and look, this is, this is bookshelf she used for walls. A lot of simple panels. So we'll go back up to, here's the phone booth. So here's the entrance to the Ministry of Magic. You can see this is number 12 Grimmel Place. The night bus is over here somewhere. There's the night bus. Mm -hmm. 
That's really cool. And then it looks like over here might be the lighthouse where the Dursleys tried to hide Harry before. Yes, look, and there's Harry's birthday cake, exactly how it should look. Let's take a picture of that. Don't know if I can get a good view this way. I'm going to try bird's eye. See if I can zoom into it. No. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So we'll go find. Now I get lost. I think it was back here. So yes, here's the leaky cauldron. There's stairs here somewhere. Back up to platform nine and three quarters. And we'll walk along the train. I love all the detail up here. The flying car. Beautiful. That was one of my favorite parts of the second movie I loved the idea of the flying car I wish it had to come back I've seen a few times people have written kind of theories that it came back what if it came back during kind of the the last book the Deathly Hallows when Harry went into the forest or even when um, you know when they went to see when they went to see Grop that would have been cool too so of course they have Dobby I mean, his name is perfect. So we come down this way, we're heading into... I believe we're heading into Hogsmeade now. And you can see again, she integrated some houses into here. Let's see who this is. I didn't look at the map. I just want to be surprised by who's here. I didn't do that last time either. I didn't look at the map to see who was here. I just wanted to find out for myself. I do know... Oh, the dragon. Drago. So that definitely fits in well. It's a cool house. And then I know that she has a player house to the side here where she has decorated it. I believe it's decorated to be the three broomsticks, but I didn't check. Yes, so we're in the three broomsticks. You can only go up and down here. I like how she's blocked some of her rooms. And you can see... We never really got to see the top of the three broomsticks, but... You could imagine what it must look like. Unless this is... The hog's head. I'm gonna look outside. I thought the three broomsticks had three broomsticks in front of it. I think it's the three broomsticks. This looks like... It's hard to see what the sign says. And then... Is someone down here? No. 
there's someone over here. Rhea, Phoebe. She kind of looks like she could be a hippogriff. Dobby again. And then there's actually another, that was where the dragon was. And then if we come around here, then we have another house. This is Dobby's house. So, oh, then we're getting into, this is where they camped, I think, when, during the Deathly Hallows. I think that's what that's supposed to signify. <laughs> I think I started to get lost a little here too. Um, so there's the castle. And there's the boats. That's the boats in the middle. That lead you to the castle. That's really cool. So I wonder if you can actually jump. Yeah, you can jump over that boat. Don't think. No, I'm pretty sure there's somewhere that she gives you... I'm just going to jump up here and jump back down. Think I can? Yes. I'm not sure if there's somewhere where she gives you a hole so that you can jump. But we made it to the castle. This is beautiful. And every little character you talk to here give you a spell or a saying. Why couldn't it be butterflies? That's from the second book when Ron... Oh, we have some more. So this is the sorting hat and when you pick the presents it sorts you into a house. I'm already a Gryffindor. More Cornish Pixies, more Owls, all the food, pumpkins, and of course, because it's the Great Hall, it's always, the roof always makes it look like the sky, so it's fitting that it's open to the sky. We'll go this way first. So then every house they have here is, I think this is the Gryffindor common room. This is sort of, okay, let's go back first. I think upstairs is the Gryffindor common room. We'll see what's back here. Oh, this is Umbridge's office. So you can see all the cats, the cats on the plates, all the pink, the cat tree. You know, they never really told us what happened to Umbridge. She kind of, she didn't die. In she wasn't in the Battle of Hogwarts. I wonder whatever happened to her. I wonder if there's any any theories on that. Oh, this is the hospital room, the hospital wing. Harry spent a lot of time here. I would have been a healer if I was in the Harry Potter world. I'm not holding my wand. I can't hold my wand in here. See what's over here. Oh, this is the prefix bathroom where Harry takes his golden egg and learns that it's a mermaid. I wonder if there's, yep, that looks like a mermaid in the picture. That's really cool.
And now we'll go upstairs. I'm pretty sure this upstairs is, it's either the kitchens or Gryffindor. It's Gryffindor. This is beautiful. Look, it's the fat lady. We've got wizard's chess, some cushions. We've got a miniature version of the dorm rooms. You've got their outfits. That's a beautiful Harry Potter outfit up there. All the trophies that they won. Oh, we've got Crookshanks, maybe sitting up there. So that means it might be Slytherin. Or it might, it's definitely not Hufflepuff because, ooh. This is the wizard, the large chess set of McGonagall's that the three of them had to play against in the first book. Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, depending on where you live. We had options of both being in Canada. And that's it for that house. So then we'll go downstairs. I'm amazed by all of the stairs and everything that she's done. Okay, this is the next house. I love how they just use all the houses to make the four corners of the of the castle and it really let you extend the castle. We're in the dungeons now. So we're probably going to see Snape's office maybe, the potions room. This looks like Defense Against the Dark Arts, maybe? There's the moon that scared Lupin, the Bogart. This is probably the Grindelo and the tank. Perfect music, because remember when they did the Bogart, they had the music playing in the movie. So these are probably all classrooms then. This might be Snape's, yeah, it's potions. You can see they have the soup pots up to look like cauldrons. And all the, there's spiders. I love that there's spiders everywhere. So maybe it's not actually, I don't know if it's dungeons, it's considered to be dungeons there, or if it's just kind of the castle and what it looks like. This, I think, is the room of requirement when it becomes the room that holds all things for, yes, because look, there's a crown up there, which would be the diadem of Ravenclaw, and I don't know if this is supposed to be the vanishing cabinet or if the telephone booth is meant to be the vanishing cabinet but that is what that is so that is what this place is it's the room of requirement we'll go downstairs Here's Slytherin's common room. I mean, I'm not a Slytherin. It's nice enough. Definitely love the, the detail again. All the green. You really do feel like you're underwater, under the, under the lake, so that everything's green.
That's amazing what she's done here. We'll go upstairs. Upstairs might be Ravenclaw. I like to try to guess. I can't remember. I did only come that one time. Oh, this is Trelawney's uh, room in the North Tower. I felt so bad for her. I mean, I think she. I think there were ways that it could have been, you know, Dumbledore could have been a bit nicer when it came to having to employ her and um, ba um, the centaur. I almost called him Bane, but it was, uh, what was his name? But, you know, Dumbledore, we, we know that he definitely made his own mistakes. Okay, we're not going to go down there yet because we're going to go see the other side. We need to see the Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff common rooms. So here's another house. I did read on another another YouTuber that did her um, did this tour, and she had commented and said that it took her four months to do this. I feel like it would have been four very intensive months. Oh, this is Dumbledore's office. So there's there's Fox, the sorting hat when it's just here, when it's not in use. This is the pensive. And we've got some stars. We've got Fox has a little feather here. This is where Dumbledore is going to sit when he's doing his stuff, getting into trouble. That's beautiful. I love Fox on the, on the globe. I mean, just trying to collect everything that you need alone. Like, if you look at all the stuff that's here, there's... You know, a lost bag over there, all these plants. Here's the Yule Ball. I did see this before. Oh, I love this too. Where you can dance. I don't know if it lets me use my... I guess you could do the hua, have a little dance. This is beautiful. And she would have had to get all of those wallpapers. So I mean, when she says four months, I feel like it was probably longer just to get everything prepared. The kitchens, we've got some house elves back here. This is just beautiful. And so we know now that since the kitchens are upstairs, we're definitely going to see the Hufflepuff common room because that's underneath the kitchen. Here's the Hufflepuff common room, all the yellow. I'd yeah, there's a badger down here. We've got the beds, lots of plants. One of the robes is hung up there. We've got lots of food, lots of tea. It's really comforting. I feel like the Hufflepuff common room is the only one that they were never in. They were in, Harry was never in Hufflepuff like common room. He was in Slytherin when he, he and Ron disguised themselves as, as Crab and Goyle. And he was in the Ravenclaw common room when he went to get the, oh, I have to go up, when he went to get the, um, oh, there's stairs right here, look at this, when he went to see the 
statue of um, Roe in a Ravenclaw. So we would know what the diadem would look like. Oh, this is beautiful. This is kind of like that little entrance area where they come in. Oh, I think the... Um, I didn't look to see if they... I think she put up... Oh, the library. I think she put up the... Things where it shows like who's in the lead for the houses. You've got your pictures, all the portraits. Transfiguration. Oh, I love, look, it's McGonagall right there. McGonagall is a cat. But yeah, Harry was never in Hufflepuff house to visit or anything. It would have been nice if there was kind of a reason they could have come up with. Oh, this is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Myrtle's bathroom. You can see the Polyjuice Potion. Um, I don't know what this is. Ravenclaw. Yes, Ravenclaw. Okay. This is Ravenclaw's house. So this must be the statue. We've got some chests here. Some desks. Their beds. I don't know if there's a robe hanging up. No. I wonder what house she's in. I feel like she would be a Ravenclaw. Let's see what's downstairs. What haven't we seen that's in the dungeons yet? Oh, the Chamber of Secrets because the... That makes sense. There's the snake. Look at it along the floor. But that makes sense because the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets was upstairs. And look at this. That's amazing. Look at that. Can you get behind there? No. Okay. Wow. Look at the snake coming out of Slytherin's mouth. I think I could visit this dream address so much and just hang out here. So we still haven't seen, I'm going to go back to the bridge and I'm amazed by that. I mean it just, it looks just like the one on the movies. What does this girl say? Oh, she's the why couldn't it be butterflies lady. Move. You're totally in my way. Okay. Um, I can't really see what's down there. Oh, that would be... That's Dumbledore's grave down there. Oh, that's so sad. And up here is the Allery. And then over here, here's Hagrid's hut. They used, um, I can't remember his name. I do have to look now because I can't remember his name. Uh, oh, they used this guy, Shep, to 
to be Hagrid, and I think they did a, that was a really good idea. Oh, and here's the actual Buckbeak or Wither Wings, depending on what books they did rename him in Half-Blood Prince, just in case the Ministry found out that he was still alive. Oh, look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. I don't know, is he a sheep? Is he a dog? Is he a sheep dog? Like, what is he? But he's really cute. Oh, and look, there's, um, Fang. Beautiful. All the buckets. I love how some people can make their houses look so huge. Oh my, I don't really want that spell done on me. They can make their islands look so huge, but... You know, in relative... The Able Sisters and, and Nook's Cranny and everything are right there. Now this is Julian, I believe, and... That makes a lot of sense because he's a unicorn and there's unicorns. Yes, there he is. I love Julian. He's a unicorn and there's unicorns in in the Forbidden Forest. Something I didn't find yet, and I know it exists, is the Quidditch Pitch. So let's see if we can find that. Mm, oh, I think it's down here. Okay. I might cheat. Sometimes when I cheat and try to get somewhere... Yeah, I'm stuck already. Okay. Sometimes when I try to get somewhere that people aren't able to get, I end up dreadfully stuck. Let's see if this will bring me down. It won't even let me go. Sometimes it's really hard to get down places. Here we go. Yeah. Look at this! I love how... I love the brooms. I love how she used the nets to be the rings. You can see it was, she has like, another tier and it's, um, simple panels and the little stalls to look like the bleachers. It worked really well. And then, why can't I get out there? I guess you have to go out this way. I just got a little... I just got a little glimpse of the Whomping Willow. Oh, we weren't here yet either. This is amazing. I mean, you, you just keep finding stuff. But here's the Whomping Willow. I love that. Here is... Herbology. We missed that, I think, because I was so excited to get up to the castle. I don't know if there's anything around here. Oh, I can't get there. I, don't, I can jump over here, but I don't think I can jump any farther. And I still don't have a pole. I'm pretty sure that's all there is to see now. I feel like there was somewhere that you could go in a pipe and it would bring you somewhere else. I'm just going to go down here. There's the carriage from Bobatton. I might get lost. Okay, we're, so we're back at the start here. So maybe there wasn't. That might have been a different... So that's pretty much it. And I mean, that was an amazing... 
I always, I guess they just say different things, like, because I know that was a different person, she said something, said the same thing. But, I think that's all there is to see now. I didn't get down by the airport. I got lost trying to do that last time. I really wanted to start at the airport. And kind of go from there as if I'd flown here. Go back to London. Oh, this guy really fits in, too. Just want to talk to him. Elvis. Now you have to move, Elvis. You're in my way. Um... Poppy. I feel like that might be number four, Pervert Drive. Uh, over here, maybe, along the beach somewhere, Shell Cottage might be here. Oh, here's where the Quidditch World Cup. There's Poppy. The other thing we didn't see was the burrow. I don't know. I can't remember if she made the burrow. This might be... Let's see what this is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. Here's the airport. We found the airport. So I'm going to go up this beach. I'm trying to think of what this could be. It's on a beach, it's not, um, it's not the borough, it's a library, it's not the bookstore. Another hippogriff. Down to the beach. That's definitely, that's for Pervert Drive. Because you can see the playground and everything. This is where they tried to hide Harry. And then... This is all of Diagon Alley. And I don't know if I can get to the other side of the beach. I'll try to run. I guess if I follow the rails again, that would take me there. But if I get up here enough, I might be able to just go up here and then... Hmm. So I can see that the Patronus is right down there. Hogsmeade... She's always in my way. And then, so this brings us back to here. And this is where I got all excited about the castle, so I didn't really go down to this beach. So, one of these might be meant to be the burrow. I 
I don't think there's any shell cottage. Stuff back here, though. Oh, here's Shell Cottage. There's Dobby, Dobby's Grave. Shell Cottage. I would say that that other house might be the burrow. I can't, I'm going to have to go back in it because I can't remember. No, this was a pub. So I guess there is no burrow. Unless it's like one of... This might be the burrow and just one of the guys' houses or something. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to see more of these, like and subscribe. And just leave me a comment telling me where you'd like me to go. Leave me a dream address. I'll check it out. And we will see...